hello guys welcome back once again and in this video we will be saying about keys database keys and uh, rtbms has different keys we will see it one by one for example primary key candidate key super key so this presentation will explain what are the different keys available within rtbms first a super key a super key can also be called as it's nothing a super key is also a superset of a candidate key for example uh, it's a set of attributes that uniquely identify each record for example a id a name email id or username which will identify a particular record is called as super key so i said super key is a superset of candidate key then what does a candidate key mean Candidate key is nothing but a set of fields in which a primary key can be selected. So this candidate key will have the set of attributes for example an ID, a email, a mobile number. So these are set of attributes which can be from these attributes a primary key can be selected. So what is the primary key? Primary key is the most appropriate candidate key to become a primary key. Uh, as a statement defined most appropriate candidate key so we have a set of attributes for example I say ID a mobile number and email ID email ID and mobile number can be changed for a particular user so if a user wants they we have a provision to change so they can't be a primary key so user ID is a thing which is nothing which will be the most appropriate one to become a primary key Next, composite key. Composite key is nothing but two or more attributes that can be uniquely identify an entity. Uh, entity is nothing but a particular row or record. Next, secondary or alternative key. The candidate key which is not selected as a primary key is called as alternate key. Then, non-key attributes. So, other than the candidate key everything will be called as non-key attributes and other than the primary key every attributes will be called as non-prime attributes so this is an hierarchy we can say a super key is a super set of candidate key when it comes to candidate key it's a set of fields which can where the primary key can be selected and the primary key is the unique key which can identify a entity in a table so a composite key when two or more attributes is formed as a primary key is known as composite key. The alternative key is nothing but in a set of candidate key attributes other than the primary key everything is called as alternative key. Uh, a non-key attribute is nothing but the attributes which are not selected as a candidate key is non-key attribute. And finally non-prime attribute. So these are the different keys available within the RDBMS. So in the next video we will start with creating tables and so on later we will see about what this normalization means. Okay guys thank you just like and subscribe.